Greetings folks, it's time to have a look at some more FXT FPV goodies. We've got the Venus Pro 16-9 or 4-3 aspect ratio FPV camera and the Black Knight uh, video transmitter, which looks like a very interesting video transmitter. It has switchable powers and a, a smart OSD, so let's go and have a look at that. Alright, let's have a look at the Venus Pro first. Same as the Mars cameras, it's a 2.1mm lens, 4.8 to 36 volt input. Nicely packaged again, I like the marketing with the uh, different names. This one's a white one. Input voltage, ground, video, on-screen display and power. And in the box we have the little angled bracket there. On-screen display selector. Bits and pieces, cables, service cards, specifications. Let's have a look at the specs. It's the model number is the T82, 800 TV line, one third inch CMOS sensor, uh, 0.1 lux for, for color, and 0.001 lux for black and white. Diagonal field of view 150 degrees, NTSC or PAL. Uh, 16943 switchable, which is great. All the uh, picture adjust English and Chinese. On screen display of input voltage and, and time. Uh, you can flip the image 19 by 19 by 23 millimeter. This is the Black Knight FX878T, 5.8 gigahertz switchable video transmitter with smart OSD. Specs uh, 7 to 28 volts, 0 0.1, 25, 200, and 400 milliwatts. That's awesome. 37 channel smart OSD and pit mode. Let's just have a look. So here it is. Good looking little unit. Okay, we have uh, on screen display selector, that's pretty standard. Uh, we have the small connector and the SMA. I'll click it in. It's the first time I've used that. That's cool. That's going to make it very adaptable. And we have some cables as well. That's for setting up the special options. Cable in the bottom, the other end, sorry. So all we need to do is provide power to these two here. This will plug straight into the camera. Voltage sensing by the white wire, so I could just solder that to the red wire there. And I guess we can operate the camera. And we'll see once we connect it up what that actually operates. We'll find out anyway. I've just soldered on a 3S balance plug it there for, to provide power which um, will power the transmitter. I've got an SMA antenna on there. Camera's plugged in. Let's fire it up and see if we can get a picture. Got a light on the back. And there we have the picture on the screen. It looks like we've got uh, <laughs> we've got time and voltage from both the transmitter and the camera at the moment so we'll have to work that out. We don't need both. We've got a call sign here as well. Tells us the channel we're on, 5658, and the milliwatts. That's pretty cool. Push the center, and... So it looks like we've got some tr tricky things going on here. Uh, at the moment, that's with the video transmitter menu off, or on-screen display, display off. It's just the camera on-screen display, and we've got the voltage and the on time. Now if I push the center button we'll bring up the transmitter display and we can do some setting up. Uh, you can manually choose a channel at the top there. You can change the power from 25, 200, 400 inhibit pit mode. Let's leave it on 200 that'll be my standard frequency now we can choose uh, we can set up sort of eight favorite frequencies i guess um, and we can choose them quickly and easily later on i'll show you that 
change your call sign. I'll leave that alone for the moment. Voltage calibration, you can measure the voltage of your battery and make sure it's actually reading it correctly on screen. Uh, move the characters around on the screen. Video transmitter on screen display on and off. Set the voltage alarm. Factory reset. Okay, let's exit out of there. And there you can see the this is the transmitter on screen display. So we've got the uh, power, frequency, call sign, voltage, and time. I'll actually turn the transmitter on screen display off because that just gets in the way. Now we only have the camera on screen display. Now we'll do some tricky things with the video transmitter. Push and hold the right button. You can choose a frequency. Push and hold the left button. You can uh, set up your favorite frequencies. Push and hold the up button. And here's where you can uh, cycle through your favorite frequencies. The ones that you usually use, which is a great feature, I think. Uh, push and hold the down button and you can easily change the power 200 400 inhibit pit mode and 25 milliwatts that's pretty cool nice little features from a capable little video transmitter now if you press and hold the on-screen display center button for two seconds you get the camera on-screen display set up you can have the time power and position you can work them out return exposure you can set up day night image setup uh, we've got gain mirror and return function setup pal 169 or 43 change the language factory reset save and exit very good so we've got the time and the voltage there from the camera now we can have that from the camera or the video transmitter, uh, whatever you want, I'll, I'll leave it as the camera I think. Press and hold for a couple of seconds and you're back to the video transmitter setup. That's, uh, that's awesome, excellent. And of course uh, you don't have to fly with the on-screen display selector on there, we've got uh, function and selection buttons on the side here that you can do, change the power and the frequency as well, all on there. And a series of lights to show you what's going on. I won't go through all of that but uh, that's all in the manual. Okay, very keen to get out and have a fly with this now. Let's go and put it on the plane. I have it mounted up on the nose of my Bixler 2. Uh, Venus Pro camera there. Black Knight video transmitter there. Nice 16-9 aspect ratio image. Grass looks green, sky looks blue, beautiful. Animal Health Research Labs over there. Golf club over there. I'm standing in the old uh, gun club, which has now been regenerated into parkland, which is great for flyers. Good slope soaring site. So, what have we got? A nice smooth image. Good colours. Good reception as well. Apart from when I fly directly over my head. This is looking good. I've turned the exposure down to, uh, is it two? It was up on six or seven or something like that, which was too much for this bright, sort of hazy, sunny day. Uh, Exposure looks a lot nicer now. Very natural colours. Doesn't look excessively um, wide dynamic range, but uh, it does have good wide dynamic range. This is cool. To be careful, the wind's sort of blowing me off the edge a bit. So you just have to be careful of sort of turbulence and rotors and things like that. This is a great little camera and video transmitter. It's awesome to be able to change settings in the field with the push of the button. Uh, you can connect up the setup selector and 
change settings in the video transmitter and the camera through the one video, uh, through the one selector, which is brilliant. Very, very useful. Change power, change channel, change colour, contrast, maybe not contrast, aspect ratio, all those things. This is fantastic. Venus Pro and the Black Knight video transmitter from FXT. This is great gear. Loving it. Let's see if we can land it. Glide it from here. Nice. Wait. Excellent. Thanks for watching.